Today's video is going to be dealing with power of power with exponents, but we're going to quickly review multiplying and dividing from yesterday to help us. So for appropriate work, we always start by writing the original problem. So 5 to the negative 6 multiplied by 5 to the negative 1. Because I have a common base of 5, I only have to write one base. And then when I'm dealing with multiplication, I simply add these together. So for appropriate work, I would write negative 6, add negative 1. We can simplify that as we still have a base 5, and negative 6 added to negative 1 is negative 7. So that could be an option of 5 to the negative 7. But remember, anytime you have a negative exponent, you could actually go ahead and change that, that base and the exponent and move it to its reciprocal position. In other words, because 5 to the negative 7 is the numerator, I could move it to the denominator, and then that negative exponent would change to a positive exponent. And then don't forget to mark the numerator with a 1. You could have that. Lastly, delta math sometimes has you figure out what 5 multiplied by itself 7 times will be. But most of the time, the exponent's going to be pretty small, because otherwise the numbers are going to be really big. Um, Dividing with exponents. Okay, start with the original problem. So I've got 6 to the power of negative 4. Divide by 6 to the power of negative 1. Always start by writing the original problem. And then when you're dealing with division, what you'll do is you'll subtract the exponents. So writing my numerator first, which is 6 to the power of negative 4, I will subtract. So I put my subtract sign. Now look to the bottom. Whatever that number is, that's what you're going to subtract. So in this case, I actually end up with negative 4 subtract a negative 1. So you should know from all our mental math that we've been doing is that whenever you have a negative negative, that's going to switch to a positive. So I'm going to take a moment just to rewrite that as 6 to the negative 4. Again, negative times a negative, that's going to switch to a positive 1. And then we can simplify that as 6 to the negative 3 because a negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. Again, this could be an answer, or just like the one above, we could go ahead and move that base 6 with a negative 3. We could go ahead and move that to the denominator, and that would give us still base 6, but that negative exponent moved to its reciprocal position is actually going to go ahead and leave us with a positive exponent. So there's the positive 3. Again, be sure to mark the numerator with a 1. And then alternatively, you could have... Uh, delta math might ask you what 6 times 6 times 6 would actually give you, but it's going to be a kind of a bigger number, so they're probably not going to. All right, so there's a review of yesterday. Now we're doing power to power with exponents level 1. This is perhaps the easiest for most students. Again, start by writing the original problem. So inside the parentheses, I have 6 to the power of negative 4, and then I have a power of 4 on the outside. Again, when you're dealing with powers inside and outside of the parentheses, the operation is you multiply those together. So I'm going to put 6 to the negative 1 multiplied by 4. So you could use the dot, you could put the, the x, or you could use parentheses, either way. So I'm going to do, let's see, negative 1 times 4. That's going to give me 6 to the negative 4. So again, that could be an option, but like we said before, is that some, most of the time, or some of the time, this is going to be moved to its reciprocal position to give us a positive exponent. So base 6 goes to the bottom, but that negative 4 exponent now becomes a positive 4, and then I can put a 1 on top. So oh, either of those are options. Delta math is probably not going to ask you for 6 multiplied by itself 4 times. And if we just look over here, it looks like this is the correct answer for this one right here. All right, let's do a second example. So again, start with the original problem. 2 to the power of negative 3. And then we have a negative 2 exponent on the outside. After we rewrote the original problem, when you have powers inside and outside of the parentheses, the operation is you multiply them together. So I'm going to put base 2 and then negative 3. Let's see, in the last question, I used a dot. So I'm just going to use the the x symbol or that multiply symbol right there. So it could be written like that. So I'd have negative 3 times negative 2, if you prefer that. And so I would still have base 2, but a negative 3 times a negative 2, that's going to leave me with a positive 6. 
And that's probably going to be the answer. Of course, just to make sure we're well covered, you could also get the negative exponent equivalent to that, which means that because I have a positive in the top, if I move that to its reciprocal position, so that base 2 moves down, that negative 6 would actually be a negative 6 in the bottom. So you could also end up with 1 over 2 to the negative 6. But if you look over here, they just have 2 to the power of 6 right there. All right, last one. So let's see, in the first one I did a multiply or a little dot. In the second one I did an x. I'm going to use parentheses for the next one. So again, start with the original problem as 4 to the power of 0 in the parentheses with a power of 6 on the outside. After writing the original problem, I'm going to, when I deal with powers on the inside and outside, the operation is we multiply them. So I'm going to put 4 to the power of 0. And then I'm going to use parentheses, and I'm going to put negative 6 inside the parentheses. And when you have a number and a group of parentheses, this is, just think of the distributive property. Okay, so 0 times 6 is going to give us 0, and 4 to the power of 0, you should realize that that's actually going to simplify anything that has a power of 0 is going to simplify to 1. So there you have it. And that's pretty much it. So kind of just a quick review of yesterday and then power to a power with exponents. Thank you for viewing.